What's up, movie crew? Welcome to the latest Let's Watch. If you are new to this channel, my name is Luke, this is Let's Watch a Movie, and if you're in anything cinema and physical media related, you've come to the right place, so hit that subscribe button. Today, I am seeing Pray for the Devil. So the original plan was to either see this or my area is finally getting Terrifier 2. Yes, about time. And one of my subscribers said that they wanted both reviews and gave me money for both tickets. So thank you to that person and to the people that wanted both uh, reviews. This person's asked to remain anonymous, so I can't really say anything beyond that. But tonight... I'm seeing Terrifier 2. I'm going to go in here, go see this movie, and come back and give you my thoughts on Pray for the Devil. All right, so I have just gotten out of seeing Pray for the Devil. So... I wanted to see it because one, it's Halloween, two, I like exorcism movies, and three, free ticket. So there's also that. Uh, it was okay. I think they had a solid cast. I will definitely give them that. But overall, it has a lot of flaws. And there was a couple of issues that I just personally had where I'm like, wait a minute, this does not make any sense. For example, when you've got two Catholic priests in there, there's a scene where they see a possessed entity. I highly doubt you're going to hear two Catholic priests scream, oh, holy shit. So because of that, it, it was a little weird and it threw me off a bit. There were a couple of other scenes throughout the movie where it just felt like there were... I don't know. The other issue that I also had was... They had a basic plot point. The main character, she dealt with her mother being possessed when she was younger. And that's what inspired her to want to join the Catholic Church and learn about exorcisms. Well, here's the problem with that. That was one plot point. They kept adding plot issues to this movie throughout the movie. They added like four other plot points when they only needed the one that they gave us in the trailers. And it threw me off a little bit and it just got to the point where it felt like they were adding too much to a very short run time. So what could have just been a more simple story and a better told story ended up just becoming a little too convoluted and it didn't really work in its favor. That's just how I personally feel about it. Uh, there's also just, there's some other issues I have, but I don't feel like I'm the person that's allowed to say anything on this one. So, anyone that wants to talk about those, my social media links are down below. We can have that conversation in private. But overall, this movie was okay. I'm not going to be behind the physical release when it comes out. To anyone that wants something to watch during the Halloween season, definitely worth checking out. But other than that, this is definitely a one-time watch. And for some people, depending on what Exorcist movies you like, you might want to pass on this one. Overall, I'm going to give this one a two and a half out of five. But that's going to do it for this one. If you are new to this channel, hit that subscribe button, like what you see, leave a thumbs up, comment down below your thoughts on the movie, and tune in next time. 